Is it good? Can you, can you see the machine? Yeah. Yeah. We can slide that one over. We can move that one over. This is Adam Steele. Okay, wait. Wait, what? Oh, okay, ready? Want me to stay like right here? Yeah, I can, should I sit down? I can grab a, I can grab a, like a box? Cool. Hey guys, welcome to the Warhouse Gym channel. I'm Adam Steele, as you know, and then I'd like to appreciate you guys for tuning in to watch. This is a special video. Um, we're gonna start a series with the War Machines, kind of a documentary series about how um, I myself created, designed, and built all these bad boys by hand. Actually did, yeah, from concept to suggestions to everything. I literally designed, built, welded, cut, fabricated, refabricated, redid, redesigned, and just created each and every single one of War Machines uh, based on like my education background and uh, trial and error. And so uh, today we're gonna dive into the, um, the T-Bar row. As some of you are familiar with, we've done a couple of videos. Uh, check out our introductions of the War Machines. It's a great one. You can see and hear a little bit of the story, as well as then also um, the three tips and tricks on like advanced and other exercises and things you can use this bad boy with. She is one of a kind. Um, I designed and built myself. Um, uh, a really cool story that a lot of people got to see a reel about, and we'll post that on the shorts. In 2020, uh, so 2021, um, a, a, like a good friend of mine, one of my best friends, Casey Herrant, an awesome welder and fabricator out of Montana, was visiting and working with me during the season. Super rad ha having him in the shop at the time, and we wanted to create a T-Bar row. I, I believe I had a couple of our members in the very beginning um, ask, hey man, like you need a T-Bar, you know, because we were a super limited gym, kind of built out of nothing with COVID and things like that. Some of you as know, uh, just started with like 14 machines and some dumbbells and easy curl and like one mirror um, as I built everything out like you know overnight by myself and we decided that okay let's uh it was right it was literally literally Christmas Eve 20 uh 2020 that we uh created this thing and I started cutting and working on it uh Casey was helping uh doing a lot of the fabrication the frame and the, the mock-up um he, he kind of went off the designs that I laid forward, I was working on other projects during the day and then he was helping a lot um, with the fabrication in the shop. Crazy talented as you can see. And then I jumped in and we kind of finished putting the complete idea together with the heim joint from a truck, um, stainless heim joint in the back to create the pivot and the smooth rotation and lift motion of this thing, giving it kind of a free floating action that is just unbelievable. Um, also, the custom angling, the horn, the multiple three levels of grips, just making it awesome. So that night we went to town and uh, we had some members gift us a bottle of Angel's Envy uh, whiskey, a really nice bottle of whiskey. And uh, sure enough, we decided we'd weld all night. We wanted to finish it so we could like, oh, Merry Christmas, we built a machine and uh, blacked out and somehow magically woke up to it being finished. Um, there's a video in there of me welding with, uh, without even looking while taking a shot with Casey and we just handled it from, I think uh, we started, welding that night after I got back at like four or five o'clock and we welded through till about midnight or 1 a.m. And then uh, I remember passing out in the shop and waking up, looking at the T-Bar row sitting on our big welding table, all finished and ready to go. And by God, if it doesn't work, awesome. <laughs> Taking shots while doing it and how literally from concept of just a pile of metal to what you get to use here in the warehouse every day, um, designing and building each and every single one of the war machines and how I did it from 2020 to now and how I'm continuing to do it. And so um, it, it takes a lot of attention, heart, soul, and sacrifice to make it happen. And I'm, I love doing it and it's really fun. And every single person who's ever touched one of our machines uh, has nothing but amazing things to say about it. And it pulls my heartstrings every day. I read about it and am told and see stories, posts and everything. And uh, I greatly appreciate it. And it's incredibly humbling. So thank you to you all and um, I appreciate that you love it and I'm happy and I won't stop making more. So you guys have an awesome night, um, day, whatever time it is that you're seeing this. And please don't forget to like and subscribe on the page below. Um, thank you for Impetus Media, um, our guys who are behind the camera and the editing that make all this channel happen and everything we do here at the Warhouse and bring to you guys and make that possible. I'd like to thank the staff, um, uh, Alonzo, uh, Miguel, Melanie, you know, all of our team here um, at the Warhouse all of our members, um, it means a lot to me that this has gone from literally uh, an idea to what we're standing in now and we continue to grow. So thank you so much. We'll see you.